community solar cooker of 3 square meter length is 2 meter and width is 1.5 meter now this entire solar cooker community solar cooker is completely folding so that it can come into a small cartoon box we will see now the assembling process for this solar cooker here is the heap of all the components of community solar cooker 3 square meter arranged into a box form all these components will make a complete solar cooker and we will see the process of assembling now all the red components are for reflector frame and all the blue components are for stand supporting the reflector and pot stand we will see now the assembling process now we have dismantled separated red color components which are of reflector and blue color components for the stand and also the aluminum anodized reflector seats and box for the nut bolt now we will start assembling all these components into a complete assembled solar cooker we will start the process from reflector now we have arranged all the components of the frame which will be assembled by just by bolts first of all we will assemble the cross internal cross in the central cross we can say in the middle we will lift this portion this one and then we will assemble it by the four bolts the holes we can see here and that will be lifted above the ground and then it will be assembled together assembling lift yeah we are assembling central cross strips it has been lifted above the ground making a parabolic shape four bolts are to be tightened these bolts have not been fully tightened because if we fully tight tighten then there will be problem uh, on the next uh, uh, means opposite end connections etc so fully tighten will be done later on now we go to the another end now side strip we assemble now side strip two bolt on each side only four bolts this is side strip on all the four sides we have to assemble this way side strip here also we do not tighten the bolts fully little loose we leave it and we will tighten it later on now we have fitted one side strip similarly we have to fit side strips on all the other three sides now we go to the another side
Now we go to the third side strip. Third side. Now we go for the fourth side strip, side strip assembly. Now we have fitted all the four, four sides, side strips. And skeleton is ready now. Now internal strips are to be fitted. So frame is al almost ready now. And we will fit now internal strips in between. Now we will fit the corners. Corner is fitted with one bolt on each side, so two bolts for each corner. Corner. We come to the third corner. Come to the fourth corner. Now reflector is ready and all the bolts are to be tightened properly and perfectly which we left incomplete. Once the frame is ready, now all the bolts are tightened properly. Now frame is ready and we have to fit 12 internal strips, three strips in each compartment. We will see how it is fitted. Hello. They are fitting the strip. On both ends, bolt is to be inserted. In this way, Nut is to be inserted, so strip is fitted with the main strip and in the same way on the opposite side nut is already been fitted. Now second strip, bolt is inserted, nut is being tightened, so the second strip is also connected on both the ends. Sometimes strips may not come in the position, so we have to hammer it and bring it, bring it into the position so that hole matches properly. Now last internal strip is being assembled. It is little bit tricky to insert the board because all holes are of exact size and because of powder coating holes are become little slower, smaller. So you have to insert the bolt first and ensure that everything is okay.
So now we have assembled oh, everything and entire reflector frame is ready. Now reflector frame is completely ready with all the internal 12 strips also. And now we can switch over to frame, solar cooker frame. So we remove for the time being the frame and put little away and we start assembling the stand. Here are the components of the stand and we assemble now the stand. Now we have arranged on the ground the frame components and we start assembling. We, can, we are now starting the assembling. Simply we have to fit the bolts. This is middle part. This is middle of the frame. This vertical pillar has been assembled. Second pillar is being assembled. Now we insert the clutch into the round pipe. And then we assemble it. Bolt, long bolt passes from the vertical pillar and also to the clutch plate. Similar the second bolt. Both the bolts have been inserted and tightened. Here is the indicator bolt. This is indicator bolt for focus indicator. And here will be, uh, the, below is the two holes for two bolts for inserting the reflector. The reflector will be hanging on these two bolts. Now on the second side also, clutch has been fitted with round pipes. And now we have to insert in the middle stand for the pot. Now we insert pot bracket on the round pipe. Pot bracket has four bolts on which again round ring will be fitted. Similarly on the other side.
Now half round ring is being fitted. by two balls. Upper and lower. Two balls. Similarly, another half round is being fitted to make it a perfect circle for port stand. We can see now the complete stand. Now the frame is ready and all the bolts are checked for proper tightening also. Now we have to put the grill on the port stand which now frame is being assembled now. We will have to open the two bolts just below these two, nearby two bolts, one on each side, because on these two bolts, entire reflector is to be hanged here on these two holes. So first we have to open these two bolts on each side. Now we lift the reflector. Now we lift the reflector and insert the bolts Now, hanging of reflector is over. It is hanging properly now. Bolt has been tightened again. And now we have to look how it is tilted. Now, these two bolts are one and these two bolts are clutch bolts. These are most important boards because clutch will be operating about, uh, on the tightness of this board. If it is loose, then this entire reflector will not remain in the shape. If it is too tight, we cannot tilt the reflector. Now, how it is? Now we we have to see the function of the clutch. Clutch is adjusted. Clutch bolts are tightened to that extent. So that just by pressing the reflector end, it should retain its shape as per desired. See, now it has been, uh, yes, just to focus against the sun, we have to tilt this way. And wherever we put, it should re remain as it is, without falling. It should not change its position. This is the function of the clutch, like this. Uh, now it will remain as it is. Uh, again we tilt on this side, then also it will remain in the same position. Now we look this function under the sun. Now we will see what is the function of the focus indicator bolt. Here is the bolt focus indicator. Its shadow of the head should 
fall exactly in the center. Now we look the shadow, it is on one side. So we have to tilt the reflector little gradually. Now tilting the little, ah, so that shadow comes exactly in the center. Yes. Now there is no outside shadow, there is still there is a gap. Yes, now it is in the center. Once this way, we have to adjust the focus. In this position, all the rays of the sun will be collected into the center where we have to put the port. At present, we have not fitted reflector seats, so we cannot see it, but now we will look how reflector seats are being fitted. So now we will look the fitting of the reflector seats on the reflector. Now we look the reflectors. There are two sizes of reflectors. One is 84 centimeter long, which we call longer reflector, and another is 46 centimeter long. So we will see how it is fitted. Before fitting, we will have to remove the protective coating on it, which will give very bright surface. So we are removing protective coating. Just by finger, we remove it. Look, we are removing protective surface and we get very bright surface beneath, under, under the protective surface. So we have removed it. Now, how it is fitted, we look. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven and eight. So, seven and eight we are leaving. One and two are also leaving. Between, in between four span, middle span, are covered by 184 centimeter seat, which we have put it there. So it will cover four spans and everywhere there, is a, there are holes at each particular strip. You can see very thin holes which will be, we insert the wire. Sorry. Now we look two tiny holes in which we have to insert the wire to bind it with the strip, red strip, reflector strip. But we do not start from this first one because there will be overlapping of second seat here. So first we will leave it there and we will start at second place, third place. Hello. Yes, brother. Yes. Where do you want to put it? Oh. Two smaller strip on the side and longer strip in the middle will cover the entire width of the reflector, 1.5 meter. So one strip has been fitted on the entire width of the reflector. One strip becomes totally three strips, two smaller on both sides and one longer in the middle. Longer is 84 centimeter and all side strips are 46 centimeter. Now similarly to cover the entire length of 2 meter 25 such strips will be required. Now we can look how it is done on, on the completed reflector on the complete community cooker. 
Now this is completed, completely assembled community solar cooker and we can look that in the entire length of 2.0 uh, meter there are 25 strips which we can see totally 25 sheets, 25 strips. Here is the end. So from one end to another end there are 25 sheets. So 25 sheets of 84 centimeter long and 50 sheets means 25 on each side. So 50 sheets of 46 centimeters will be required. For, to cover the entire reflector of 3 square meters. So now we ha have seen